How to order, prepare for fuel oil bunker. Hello guys, good evening everyone. So once again, this is Jalward, or also known as Keep It Jalward, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today, we're going to talk about how to order, prepare for fuel oil bunker. So let's say we have already received an email that we are going to Argentina. So currently, we are here in Malaysia. So let's say they will uh, supply us a bunker and they want us how many bunkers do want to order. So let's say we have the distance of 9,570 miles and the fuel consumption is unknown. So let's say this one is unknown. So when taking the fuel oil consumption, we need the speed consumption and charter consumption agreement. We are basing on these two tables. So for example, this is the table for this. So in economical speed, there are there are 85 RPM with a 12 knots. So this is the example. Let's say our charterer want us to to sailing as an economical speed at loaded condition. So the economical speed is 85.73 RPM or let, let's say uh, 85 RPM with a 12 knots per hour. So always take note, it's per hour. And then our fuel consumption for this is 17.34 metric tons a day. This all together with a main engine, generator, and other machinery the taking consumption of this uh, fuel so let's say our distance so let's say the distance is 9570 miles and then we have the speed already that 12 knots per hour for example this one is blank to find out how many days we're going to arrive at argentina okay so we have the 9570 miles distance and we have the 12 knots per hour so the formula is distance speed and time so if if you remember this formula this one already taught us when we are in uh, high school so distance so you're looking for the time the days so just uh, cover the time so the remaining is the distance and speed so we need to divide this one so that's why we are here 9570 then divide to 12 knots so when you divide to 12 knots there are 797.5 and then they divide it to 24 hours to get the days so we have the 33.229 days travel or sailing Malaysia to Argentina so there's other option there's other formula for this so we have the 12 knots we have the 12 knots per hour so always take note 12 knots per hour then in one day, there are 24 hours. So 12 knots per hour times 24 hours. So the ship travel around 288 distance per day in 12 knots speed. And then we have, we have now the 288 distance per day. So we have a, a total distance of 9,570 miles. So we, di we divide it to the 288, that's why we get the answer 33.229 days. So now we have the days, so we're going to put here 33.229. So now we have the days, so now let's, let's go back to the fuel oil consumption so that, so that we can have the figure here. Fuel oil consumption and a 12 knots is 17.34 metric tons per day so now since we have the days already calculated so we're going to times to 17.34 metric tons a day so the answer is 576.19086 metric tons of fuel so we need a total of 576 576 point 19086 metric tons of fuel when we are sailing from Malaysia to Argentina. 
so we need this 576 so let's say our company will supply a fuel in Malaysia then when when you want to order a bunker make sure that you have a plus five days of fuel oil consumption this one is called a safety margin safety margin so you will going to you're going to times uh, five days times 17.34 metric tons a day but we will continue this on our next video so far in this day i only explained the fuel oil consumption of this voyage from malaysia to argentina okay so i hope you learned something new today guys and see you on my next video so this is jellard once again that always saying that success is a choice and choose to be successful <laughs>